hello there. Welcome to 5 Minute Fridays. And right off the bat, I'm going to give a plug to one of my little followers who she sent me some new glasses. Look at They got a little, it's a mosaics. Well, it's not really glass because it cut you, but, you know, I... I think people think I have a glass fetish. Well, they're right. So keep them coming. Now, I do use my regular glasses. where they go? I'll always wear these because for some reason they fit right most of the time. So let me tell you what we're doing for our 5-Minute Friday segment. It's been, a, you know, a long, almost three months. Since Nettie's really gone out, I've been social isolating since mid-January, February, March. Yep. So, you know, that's a good thing because, except that I miss my Jimmy. He's helped me so much, but, you know, we FaceTime. <laughs> anyway, so I've been thinking about some of the things that I've been doing. And, and Five Minute Friday is a good time to say, you know what? Experiment with your life. I mean, things like new recipes or go back to some old recipes because somehow you got to use up those 25 pounds of beans you bought. <laughs> so there's other things. You know that Marie Kondo who who tried to get us to clean out our condos? <laughs> well, she's probably not too busy right now, but you know, if you took any of that in, there's a lot of things you can be doing. And I, I don't know about you, but I've been reminded that there's really a lot of things we don't need. And other than trying to clean things out and finding a place to put them till you can get rid of them, because, you know, all the Goodwills and the thrift stores, all that's closed. So you need a plan. Well, if you've got one, tell me what it is, because I don't have one for you. <laughs> but I do. I am reusing some things. It's no secret that, that Nettie's a messy cook. But guess what? I'm an inclusive mess maker because I'm messy when I cook and I'm messy when I eat what I cook. So, you know, I've got these nice little row dresses that I was given to by my, my daughter-in-law and I never want to mess them up. So look what. I've got this old t-shirt of my son's. He had a little band in high school and that's what it was called. And I don't want to get rid of the t-shirt, but really... I'm not wearing flesh and bone around the neighborhood. So I came up with this idea to recycle them into bibs, what I eat, especially when we do TV dinners. And you can, you can wear it. You can wear it when you're cooking. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really easy. Hang on. So I have this old t-shirt from football days in high school from my kids. And guess who designed that? <laughs> I did. Anyway. It's huge on Nettie now. It's a little too big for me, but that makes it a better bib. So here we go. I'm going to show you how to fix it so that you can use your old sentimental t-shirts for something good. So the truth about this is that it's so easy it could be called a sin. <laughs> so here we go. All you do is take your scissors, and these are just my, these are just my fiskers. I've got some gingers, but you know, I don't need to get those out. Here we go. So see the sleeve seam, cut on this side of the seam sleeve. Cut on this side of the... Oh, I need my fingers. I'm a messy sewer too. Hang on. Well, who knows where my gingers are? I've been moving things all around. So right now I'm wearing, I'm using these fist scarves. They are ergonomic. So, and it's locked so I can't cut myself by accident. Well, I probably still could, but here we go. So follow up this side of the seam. Look how nice those are cutting all the way up. Then, you know, here's a rag. So then all you do here is cut up the side right up the middle. Then when you're done, do it on the other side. I mean, really, this is the easiest thing in, in the whole wide world. And voila! There it is. I'll show you in a second. So you just slip it on over your head, see? 
It's sort of like a sandwich board. But here you go. You sit down and look at it. I'm going to show you. It's long enough that you can cook with it and make it a little apron. And to tell you the truth, sometimes I turn it around backwards like this. Because then you save the good part. It doesn't get all stained. And, you know, I've got enough of them now, a whole bunch of them, that sometimes I just use them to wipe my hands on and wipe my face, toss them into the wash. They work so good. So what do you think we should call them? Well, we could call them t-shirt bibs, but that's a little boring. How about, how about bib prem? Ape bibs. Ape bibs. We're going to call them ape bibs. <laughs> so look it. We're all in the boat together. Same boat. COVID-19 boat. All aboard. We're here. So next time you're throwing yourself a pity party, get out your ape bib, put it on, cook something really yummy, make a big mess, sit down, eat it, make a big mess, and wipe your face. <laughs> Don't be crappy. Be happy. Go and be the light. First responder in love. And remember, Nitty loves you. One more message for you. During the COVID-19 thing, just know God's got the whole thing in his hands. And I kind of have it from the highest authority that he washes those hands religiously. Oh, you know the ticket. Remember to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs>